Okay, you ready? Here it is, the mighty steed, the most hombre, hombre, the vehicle that's lived a full service life two times over, a most practical car that's forced to stay alive through constant blood transfusions and sailing trips. The only proper thing to do is to make this old rig feel pretty again. Won't you flatter this old workhorse and follow the progress with me? Okay, you ready? I've got this batch cooked up. So I fill this cup up and then it runs out in 38 seconds. So that should be good. That is the viscosity indicator. We're gonna do a test spray right here. That looks awful because it, it doesn't thin well, so it globs up. Should I go for it anyway? Yeah, I'm going to be painting over it. Okay, well, life says yes. First. So the idea is that we're going to paint it all this one color and then I'm going to paint over it. As long as it adheres well, right? Yes, which who knows. I'm just going to do the roof first because no one's going to see it. You know, it kind of runs out though. So let's see how many runs we get. This stuff's designed to be brushed and rolled on. That was lucky. I well, got a lot of overspray everywhere. It's boat paint, it's cheap, and the color's cool. I like it a lot. As long as the life's okay with it. Oops. This is a really interesting looking up close. I knew it was gonna do this, but I just was very optimistic and did it anyway. I'm telling you, just wait until the rest of the paint's on it. It'll be great. I know. You just have to be okay with the textured <laughs> paint job. Yeah, it's like all The texture I was going for. It's by design. It's meant to be that way. My wife's an artist and she requested that I textured it. <laughs> she wanted to do some waterfall accents, so I made sure that <laughs> it would run. Hey, it's a, a 50 at 50. It's a good paint job 50 feet away at 50 <laughs> miles an hour. I think that's your dad's phrase. Okay, I'm supposed to use this van tomorrow. Allow 12 to 16 hours for thorough hardening before repainting. Ah, crikey. It's kind of a weird paint. Dead bug. That's what happened. That's why people have paint booths. Should I roll it? Brush it? No. I think that would make it worse. Good job and the whole thing's a bad idea. <laughs> no, it's a great idea. It's not, a fantastic not... idea. If I just take this take this a little further away. So you're mixing up a second batch. Yeah. And it's been like five minutes since yeah. the last one. It says anything not recommended. Okay, let's get these tight areas. Long shotting it. What was that, Iggy? Did you say, oh? Mm. This is awesome. You're already making really good progress. Oh, oh. 
Christine had just started and then a rainstorm came in. How long have you been going at this, not including the storm? This is how far she's gotten in like half an hour. Pretty impressive. And this is Christine's happy place. It absolutely is. Farm implement industrial paint from Ace Hardware. And this is what my lovely wife is turning it into. That is rad. She says, just wait. Oh, it's already way better than it was. Christine was up until after midnight last night, nearly one o'clock, painting the van. She has made a lot of progress. Day two of painting on the van. How many hours have you spent? Eight, I think. Yeah, probably more. She was up till like 1230. Yeah, but I started on it at six. What time did you start on it today? Well, I worked on it first. So maybe like two hours total today and six hours today. I think she's worked on it for like 10 hours. <laughs> maybe. But it was looking awesome. Here it is. Progress update. Is this the third day that you've been working on it? Third day she's been working on it. I like it. I like the bright colors. While Christine works hard on the van, I do some quality parenting. Almost finished. This wonderful minivan has been a miraculously practical blessing that tows work trailers and play trailers. Now it's still a wonderful minivan go that tows work trailers and play trailers. I may just have to shell out the $50 a year for the vanity plate. <laughs>